Is there any time that you've had a coach uh, in your life, doesn't have to be in the NFL, mm -hmm. that's done something for you off the field, that's kind of been a mentor or kind of a second dad for you, that, that, that's kind of given you any advice or anything to kind of help you become a better man off the field, not just on the field? Um, I'll definitely say Coach Jerome Henderson, um, the, the coach for the, deep, uh, the Falcons now. He was here when I first got here my first three years. He did a good job of calling and checking on him, make sure I'm working out, make sure I'm dying, and make sure that I'm, my head is straight with my family and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, he was there in the rough time when I lost my mom, and he was calling and checking on me daily and stuff. So, you know, he gave me a lot of pointers about how to be successful off the field. And, you know, as a great player on the field, it starts off the field. And he did a great job just giving me tips and, you know, if I had any questions, anything I needed to know, he always helped me and he gave me the right words of encouragement and, you know, right words to stay focused and, and to be successful. So you, so you, and we're trying to get coaches to understand that, I mean, that there's a lot more than just on the field. Right. And there's a lot of happening and sometimes it's frustrating as a player to just have a coach that is nothing but football because mm -hmm. you don't feel like he cares about you exactly. at all. You're just another business, you're just another business check getting written and getting sent out, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And so that's important. So I'm glad you mentioned that about, about Coach Henderson. How did that uh, affect you emotionally playing for him on the field, I mean, having a guy connection like that? Well, I, I felt like he had my best interest, and I also yeah. felt like, you know, he had my back through tough times, even when I wasn't playing my best ball. I knew that, you know, it was more deeper than just playing ball. Right. And for a guy like that, I'm willing to go out there and put my neck on the line day in and day out and run through a wall for him. And you know, and, and give it my all, not only for him, but for my teammates and my coaches and stuff. Because you know he cares about I you. know he loves me outside of football. And he cares for my best interests and he wants to see me do good, you know. So, you know, I know it's sure. a business, it's pretty obvious and upfront about that, how cutthroat it is. But when you gain friendship and coaches that I have established and been around, it, um, it drives you the extra mile.